hunt for different reasons, but it's more than just the kill. First off, I'm grateful to be an American, to live in a country that still has country like this. Wide open, wild stuff, and I love it. It's about the experience, freedom, passion, and adventure. For me, hunting is the ultimate pursuit. We need to get out of here. This is danger zone. I was the big bear. A connection with nature that only a hunter can experience. I've spent my entire life perfecting my skills, braving the elements in pursuit of my prey. The wild is where I belong. I'm Keith Warren, and like you, I live for the hunt. Join me and take the high road. You know, the wonderful thing about hunting is we all have choices, and whether you're a bow hunter or you hunt with a long gun, or heck, you hunt with a handgun, hey, we all have choices when it comes to hunting, and that's what makes hunting so fun. If you've never hunted with a handgun, you may be missing something. Those of you that bow hunt more than likely started out shooting a long gun, and you went to hunting with a bow because you'd get more enjoyment out of being a little bit closer. Well, I'm gonna go hunt with a handgun today, but I'm gonna start out by shooting a silhouette target at 75 feet. The caliber of pistol I'm gonna shoot is a 10 millimeter. Now this is a Sig Sauer P220 Elite. Why 10 millimeter? The way I look at it, it's a man gun. It's big enough to take down a big game animal do so very ethically with a well-placed shot, but you've got to use the right ammunition. As far as ammunition goes, I'm shooting a 180 grain XTP bullet, and this is made by the folks at Freedom Munitions. All right, we've got a target 25 yards. Let's see what it does. not bad right there. Now keep in mind that's at uh, 75 feet and this is a 10 millimeter. It's a Sig Sauer P220 Elite and this has quickly become my favorite handgun. It's a little bit too big uh, for most people for concealed carry. It is a big handgun but it's a great handgun if you're a hunter and you want to uh, carry along with you because it's certainly big enough to take care of a, a pig and, and uh, an elk or a deer with the right bullet. And so right now, they're shooting pretty good and it's about time to head the woods and see if we can find a hog. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Rick Comics. 10X high performance hunting gear, record rack deer and elk feed, Bert Coyotes Luminoc, supercharged scent killer by Wildlife Research Center, 99%, Tannerite, and Bloodsport. The High Road will be right back. My name is Billy Breeze. I own Hog Wild Adventures. I specialize in hog hunts. We don't have a lot of handgun hunters, but we do have some. And when Keith comes, uh, he does a lot of handgun hunting. And he's using this new 10 millimeter six out. Okay, I have been sent out here to uh, bring back a hog for a big barbecue, Texas style party they're having this weekend. I'm going to be doing a field test. I have some Freedom Munitions, 180 grain, 10 millimeter ammunition. And I'm a big handgun hunter. I love hunting with a handgun. But one of the challenges that we have as a handgun hunter is to be able to actually find an ammunition that uh, delivers a lethal blow and does it in an ethical manner. I have uh, taken quite a few feral hogs using this same load. This is an XTP bullet and uh, 
but the hogs that I've taken, I've shot some in the right between the eyes and some in the brain. And to be honest with you, uh, I am very pleased with the way this bullet is performed. I also wound up quite some time ago shot an exceptional white-tailed buck using this same ammunition. He was about 40 yards away and uh, he did a good job. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to try my luck on a feral hog. A feral hog has got unbelievable protection as far as their shoulders. They are uh, very thick skinned, thick boned, and it's hard to get good bullet penetration on them. And so what I'm going to do is, my goal is to, yeah, bring back a hog for a Texas style barbecue. But my real goal is to try to test out this ammunition to just see how it does on a broadside shot to see if I have good penetration or not. The problem is, right now, the conditions are bad. We've got wind blowing all over the place, but we've done everything we can to reduce our scent. And so we're going to just stay put and see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. Coming right at us. Oh, don't smell us. Come on, wind. Come on in here. think a 10 millimeter is big enough to hunt with just take a look at this video and pay attention to the tree right behind the hog and see what you can see okay here we go got it got it look at that oh crap look at that i got clean penetration all the way through the hog all the way into the tree. I can see it from here. That hog could not go far. My gosh, I wound up, the hogs came in. I thought they were gonna win me, they came in. And I did not want to shoot her in the face. And I couldn't shoot over the top of that log. When it finally turned broadside there, I took a shot and lucky me, I can actually see where the bullet went all the way through it. This log right here cost me fits. And finally, I thought, well, I can put one over the top of it, but check this out right here. It was standing right here. And look at that. Talk about phenomenal bullet performance. And there's blood all over the tree. And actually a little bullet fragment right there in the tree. Wow. That is incredible that that bullet was able to do such a thing. Mercy. Look at that. That is a great blood trail. All right, here we go. Look at that. Perfect shot placement. And this is a great test for me. I love handgun hunting, but one of the challenges you have as a handgun hunter is finding the right load that not just shoots well, but that actually does enough damage when you hit an animal to put it down ethically. As you can tell, the 180 grain Freedom Munitions load was an exceptional performer in this case. You know, this hog came in, and I don't know how much video we got of it while it was milling around and feeding and all, but the one thing I was trying to do was to wait until the hog turned perfectly broadside. When it did that, it offered me an exceptional opportunity to check bullet performance, and little did I know that not only would the bullet go through both sides, but the bullet would actually go into the tree behind where the hog was standing, actually with a bullet fragment and still in the tree. So I think that's pretty cool. So the whole goal was to be able to not just take a feral hog, but shoot it in the right place. That way it would give me the perfect opportunity to be able to see how this 180 grain bullet performs. Now the place that I'm hunting today 
is called Hog Wild Adventures. It's only 15 minutes from the George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston, Texas. It's operated by my friend Billy Reeves, and I've been hunting hogs here for many, many years. And if you'd like more information on hog hunting opportunities, you can contact Billy Reeves. And if you have any questions or comments about the video that you've seen, make sure and send me an email. I will promise you, I'll get back with you. Come on, baby. We gotta head to the meat house. The High Road with Keith Warren is presented by Armasite. Nemo Arms. The entire line of Food Saver Game Saver vacuum sealing systems. BSA Optics. Gamo Adult Precision Air Rifles. And FreedomMunitions.com, your online ammunition destination. The High Road will be right back.